friends, welcome to my second monthly plan with me. In this series, I take you behind the scenes in my business and show you exactly how I'm planning and bringing big projects to life, as well as sharing the biggest takeaways with you so that you can plan a successful month as well. If you're new here, hi, I'm Louise. If you love all things online business, goal setting and planning, definitely hit subscribe down below. So before we can move on to planning, we first have to reflect on the month that just passed and see what big lessons we can learn from it. So there's three things that you can ask yourself. First, what progress did you make towards your biggest goals? So often we feel like we're not making any progress at all, but if you actually look back at the entire month, you will see that you took some big steps forward. And if you didn't, let's figure out why not. So that brings us to the second question, what didn't go well? This is also really important to reflect on because then we can move on to our third question, which is what can you do differently in the month ahead to ensure that you have a better month? So let's do some reflecting. What did I accomplish this past month? All right, so one thing that we do do in Asana, which is my favorite project management system, if you've been here already before, then you know this. But one thing we do in Asana is actually reflect on our week every single week. It is such a fantastic practice to work into your business because otherwise it is so easy to forget. So I would highly encourage adding in a recurring task for you to go in and track your week and just write down for yourself some notes on how that week went. So luckily, because I do this, I was able to look back and see the entire month in full. And if you have a team, a really great practice is to have your team members do this as well. So it's not just me, it's everyone on the team. And we reflect on very similar questions to what we're doing now. We ask what went well this week, what didn't go so well, and what do you want to talk about on our next team meeting? That really helps move things forward. So before we get into the reflection, I'm just going to pop on screen here our big goals for the quarter so you can see exactly what we are working towards. All right, so now let's reflect what did we actually get done. So first, we actually hired a new Facebook ads manager and SEO assistant to help with our list growth goal which is fantastic. So I'm really excited about that, getting some new energy into the business and therefore new strategies as well. Then we mapped out our entire launch system and created a new live workshop funnel, which is exciting. Then we mapped out our entire launch system and created a new live workshop funnel start to finish and all the moving pieces there. So I think that was a huge accomplishment. Then we made lots of progress on the new up level with Asana, which is my signature online course. And I'm very excited to share all those improvements with everyone. But that being said, I still have so much that I need to do. So I'm going to have a very busy month finishing this project up. And then we held a price increase campaign, which went really well, which is super exciting. And then on top of this, I had a lot of ongoing work with my clients for 90 day growth strategy, which is my high touch group coaching program. Okay. So tons of progress. I am happy about that. The second question is what didn't go so well. Okay. So this category, I'm actually going to start with huge, great news, which is we bought a house. It honestly has been top of my vision board for so long now, honestly years. It's like always been the top. And so every year I just kept adding it to the vision board and this year it finally happened. So, so, so excited. It is on the beach, which just feels absolutely unreal. So yeah, so grateful. And I just know that I've been so lucky in my life in so many ways to even allow this to happen. So so because of this, that meant that there was so much moving around and I did find this really challenging. So I was trying to move all these projects forward while also completely move house. And somehow we accumulated a lot of stuff since being here for the past two years in Panama. So we had a lot of things to actually move over and then the house itself didn't have much furniture left in it. So we had to go out shopping and find all the things. 
So it was definitely really challenging to do all of that while also keeping up with content as much as I would like. So definitely a few times this month I was feeling stressed out and like I wasn't achieving my goals because it was so hard to like at the end of the day then come up with an idea for a reel. So that didn't go so well, but we still managed to post a lot. So it's absolutely fine. That is going to happen in your business. It is not always going to be perfect. You're not, even if you do your best to create systems, when it comes to something like content where it's new ideas and creativity is required, you're not necessarily going to be able to do that all the time. And I think that's okay. As long as you keep moving forward and then like try and pick it up the next month again, it's fine that it goes in waves, honestly. So, and the third question is, what can I do differently this month to have a more successful month? So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to pause on the house. The house is now livable. We have everything we need. We are good to go. So I need to pause. Of course, there's like a long list of things that I would like to do in the future to make it feel even more like home, but we're good. So I just need to pause pause on the house stuff, even though it's super fun and I just want to spend all day on Pinterest. The second thing I'm going to do is clear anything that I can, anything that is quick and that I can clear off of my to-do list. I'm actually going to run through that first. It's going to feel so much better to open up my Asana and see like, okay, I have all this space to work on my top project, which is the new version of Up Level with Asana. So that is my top number one project for March. And so it's really important that that gets as much time as possible. So yeah, this is a really great trick, something that you can do as well. Go into your to-do list, anything that's just been on there for too long and really won't take you too long to get done, just get it done so you can go into the new month feeling like you have a clean slate. All right, so that is the reflection piece. Now moving on to the planning. You guys know that I love to plan it out and have total clarity on what I'm going to do. Simply having those two things ahead of time before you go into actually doing the work is going to help you so, so much. So give it a try if that's not something that you usually do. So as I said, for this month, my top priority is to complete the new up level with Asana that impacts all the rest of the big goals. So the list growth system, the sales goals, the marketing goals, all of it stems from this core product being as good as it possibly can. So I have to, I have to get this done. So because this is my top priority, I may need to show myself grace when it comes to content. And that's going to be hard considering that I feel like I didn't do as good of a job as I could this past month. But honestly, I just need to give myself grace and know that I can pick it back up at any time. So if you are seeing yourself in this, just know that it is hard to juggle all the things in online business. There are so many to do's and it really is a juggling act. And some things are going to need to take priority sometimes. And that's absolutely okay. So now that I know what I'm going to work on for this month, it's time to go into Asana and map it all out. It is not very helpful whenever you have a to-do that is so large, like create new version of Up Level with Asana, that can very easily lead to overwhelm. So I really don't like that to be what lands on my to-do list. Instead, I want to break it down into really easy bite-sized pieces so I know exactly what I'm going to do each day and how this is going to all fit together to then lead to the completed course. So I'm going to really be breaking this down. For example, when I'm going to write each individual lesson, when I'm going to film them, when I'm going to upload them into the course area, all of that actually gets mapped out ahead of time. And this makes it so much easier and is way more of a guarantee that it will get done. So that is how I do it. I hope that you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at running an online business. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that and I'll see you real soon with another video.